When it comes to green energy, Elon Musk seems to keep finding a way to hit the top news, and nowadays it is becoming more and more common to find him on green energy related topics, but still, they are quite interesting to have a look at. Like this one, the one we have for today. The future tech that Elon Musk's space company SpaceX is working on getting revealed. It's a portable nuclear reactor. Nuclear energy is the ultimate card of green energy, as it can be in this age of technology. And nuclear reactors are the way to extract this energy, which takes quite some arrangements to build up. So, some SpaceX engineers are working on making this whole nuclear energy thing portable. Let's take a look at that all today. Elon Musk has an ultimate plan to achieve with SpaceX, to colonize Mars. Making the red planet habitable will take some huge efforts as it seems. Elon Musk even went this far, saying that we might be ending up nuking the red planet in the process of making it habitable. To make his point, he also wore a Nuke Mars t-shirt on the SNL show. So, when the number two richest man is thinking of doing something seriously, you know that there's a possibility human beings could be living on Mars. And as a green enthusiast, Elon Musk will ensure the colony of Mars uses the greenest energy that is available right now, and that is, without any doubt, nuclear energy. So, yes, it seems that Elon Musk will be pushing the technology further up. As of now, establishing nuclear energy takes quite a bit of area, but Elon Musk is thinking of providing the Mars inhabitants with portable nuclear reactors. Yes, as astonishing as it sounds, nuclear power is going mini. But that's not the thing we'll be focusing on today. Even though the portable nuclear power station seems like a quite distant future tech, and Elon Musk labelled it as a Mars tech, we Earthlings can be lucky enough to use it. How? Well, a group of ex-SpaceX engineers are working on a project to make Mars nuclear technology land back on Earth. SpaceX has built some insane machines over the years, but apparently, for some of the engineers at SpaceX, revolutionising space isn't enough. They were working on the project of making nuclear energy portable. It was originally a project imagined for Mars, but the team decided Earth needed it more, or at least sooner. So, they have broken away and formed a new startup, Radiant. They promised to revolutionise portable, sustainable energy with revolutionary space-grade micronuclear reactors. Once ready, it could provide instant power to hard to reach places and quick installation in populated areas. The existence of floating nuclear energy stations has been reported in the past, corresponding to those produced by a Danish space agency, Seaborg Technologies. However, Radiant in development technology brings a completely new dimension of portability to the nuclear reactor. Radiant founder and CEO Doug Bernauer is a former SpaceX engineer who laboured on growing vitality sources for a future Mars colony throughout his time on the non-public space enterprise. During his analysis into micro-reactors for Mars, he noticed a chance for growing a versatile, reasonably priced energy supply right here on Earth, resulting in him founding Radiant with two different SpaceX engineers. The nuclear industry can benefit greatly from aerospace technologies and software developments that have occurred over the past 20 years, and have not made their way into nuclear. Banauer said. According to him, Radiant is developing the first power generation system that can go anywhere. A lot of the micro-reactors being developed are fixed locations. Nobody has a commercial system yet, so there's kind of a race to be the first, he added. Radiant announced in 2020 that it had acquired two provisional patents for its transportable nuclear reactor technology. One of those was for a technology that reduces the associated fee and the time needed to refuel their reactor, whereas the opposite improves effectivity in warmth transference from the reactor core. The micro-reactor will use a sophisticated particle gas that doesn't soften down and is able to withstand greater temperatures than conventional nuclear fuels. Helium coolant, in the meantime, reduces the corrosion and contamination dangers related to conventional water coolant. Radiant has signed a contract with Battelle Energy Alliance to check its transportable microreactor technology at its Idaho National Laboratory. Radiant's microreactor, which is still in the prototype phase, outputs more than one megawatt, which Radiant says is enough to power approximately 1,000 homes for up to eight years. It can easily be transported by air, sea, and road, meaning it will bring affordable energy to communities without easy access to renewable energy, allowing them to reduce their reliance on fossil fuels. Home generators emit more pollutants than trucks and industry combined. They also pose a more significant risk to human health, because they are located in or near a person's health and run for long periods. 
Engineers and startups are looking for low-cost portable solutions like solar-powered batteries, microgrids in a box, or hybrid solutions that could maintain local power during grid outages. Radiant's portable microreactor could be a clean solution to a range of power challenges. But according to experts, there are some areas in the world where diesel fuel is untenable and solar and wind power are either unavailable or impractical. So they think that clean, safe nuclear microreactors are emerging as the best alternative for these environments. The portable microreactor is better for the environment without compromising on performance. It is small enough to fit in a shipping container, according to the company. It can be developed in remote regions where fossil fuel power generators would ordinarily be employed. Plus, unlike diesel generators, it doesn't require frequent fuel deliveries, since the fuel in the portable microreactor can last more than four years. Radiant's microreactor can be utilized in distant places, corresponding to Arctic villages and remote navy encampments that will in any other case usually depend on fossil fuel powered mills. These locations currently rely on fossil fuel powered generators, which is not only bad for the environment but also challenging logistically because generators require constant shipments of fuel over rural roads. Not solely is the transportable microreactor higher for the surroundings, however, additionally it is extra sensible because it does not depend on fixed shipments of gas. If all goes properly with Radiant's check marketing campaign, nuclear energy would possibly quickly hit the street. In doing so, it's going to assist numerous distant communities and can further bolster the resurgence of nuclear energy in a world that wants clear vitality options greater than ever. Cost optimization, a reduced power peaking factor. That's all part of our design, Banawa said, noting the microreactor's portability provides freedom and optimization. One of the benefits of the portable system is that it's so small we can autonomously operate it. As we transition to carbon neutral fuels, this will be incredibly useful as we can be far more flexible with our energy supply. What's more, Radiant's reactor, in theory, could use thorium fuel, which is significantly less radioactive waste and has a much larger reserve than uranium. So, as coal, gas, and solid fuel power stations are shut down, these small reactors can be rolled out to power entire towns. Many towns also can't have nearby nuclear power plants as they don't have the right geography for it, such as rivers for water, or at high risk of natural disasters. These places could switch to carbon neutral power by using an array of radiance reactors. They don't need a water supply, and as they are small and light, they can be placed in all sorts of places, ideal for these tricky to power areas. Places like Australia would greatly benefit from this. Tesla famously built the largest ever battery to store and release their wind and solar energy to make up for nightly and seasonal shortcomings. But such a pack has a massive carbon footprint to build, ship, and install. Instead, Australia could use Radiance reactors to fill in the renewable shortcomings, creating less pollution. And as the idea was initially generated to be used as a space technology, the micro-reactors will not be restricted to Earth. It is feasible the reactor could still be used there. There is a huge demand for micro and modular reactors on Earth, so it is easy to see how Radiant has already raised $1.2 million from private investors to develop this reactor. Well, Radiant will have plenty of customers, meaning they will have the money to develop their reactors properly. This will give them a gigantic leg up on their competitors for space reactors such as Rolls-Royce, SpaceX and Boeing. So Radiant reactors could end up powering lunar and Martian bases or complex space infrastructures. So that's all folks, be sure to like and subscribe for more, and we'll see you in another video. Ta-ra.